Okay, let's discuss vibrato. What is vibrato? How do I get vibrato? How do I get a, a, a pretty sounding vibrato? Maybe your vibrato is really fast, which is called a gelta or goat swiggle. It's an ugly sound, in my opinion, and it actually isn't healthy for the voice. Uh, maybe you have no vibrato at all, or maybe yours is too wide like a cat, and you're trying to also get a prettier sound. Let's understand what vibrato does, okay? The first thing vibrato does is it's our last release valve, okay? It's the last in the line of food chain for release. So if I go, yeah, right? Or, what that does is, is you hear a lot of talk about resonance. What is resonance? Resonance is the idea that I'm not going, yeah, and I'm not killing myself by blood curdling, throat bleed, yelling at you in order to get power out of a sound. We talked about the amphitheaters as they hit the back of the throat and, and sit on the cord in that sweet spot to where you can relax into the sound and only use your diaphragm and support with the correct amount of air to sit on a chord. If you notice, I'm not, yeah! I mean, I can sit there and hold that note all day and I'm not straining to hit the sound, okay? Because I've found that sweet spot where I'm able to hit that amphitheater and then it starts to vibrate or vibrato, okay? Or resonate, that's where the term resonance comes from. And the sound gets big and beautiful. I'm not screaming at you, I'm not, you know, whatever. So, it, right? Right? As the soprano drops into her note, she relaxes into the sound and the vibrato takes over, the resonance takes over and becomes big. Okay. So vibrato predominantly is the last in the food chain of the release valve. Okay. It's also a, a beautiful thing that we want to, we want to um, have a difference in the sound instead of it monotone. <laughs> and that, you know, sounds like a foghorn or something, right? Okay. So how do we get vibrato and how do we work vibrato and how do we incorporate vibrato in what we do? Well, a lot of people overuse vibrato. Like, yeah, you feel your love in my eye. You know, like, Oof, whoa, slow down, dude. All right. What we do is we start. Yeah. Right. Start slow and take a quarter note or a half note below the note you're singing. Ah, and speed it up. Ah, right? And eventually, at first it'll feel a little contrived. At first it's gonna be kind of weird, right? It'll feel a little contrived. But if you do it this way and you slow it down and have a control over it, I can have a fast vibrato or a slow vibrato. I go, hey, you know, yay, 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 right? I don't prefer that sort of, or yay, right? I can give you that kind of a vibrato. But my, my perfect vibrato is yay, right? It's something natural that takes over. So once you start to do this and you stay on a note, it's not, yeah, we're not going above the note. We're going below the note. Yeah. Eventually speed it up to a place that starts to feel real comfortable in the throat and eventually it will become your natural vibrato and the sound of vibrato that you want and then all that needs to happen is your support takes over and you release to that sound and it actually becomes your best resource for the last part of the food chain for your release valves. All right?